Hello everyone, time for an update on the RC Buggy project. To get a better platform to work with, I widened the entire chassis. It now roughly follows the shape of the old body. The frame is also thicker and has higher sidewalls to make it stiffer. I spent some extra time coming up with a better mount for the servo. It is now super easy to install compared to before. When I started feeling down with the basic chassis, I started looking at the rear end. As previously mentioned, I changed the entire suspension design to a dual A-arm kind of thing. I also improved upon the gearbox and a hundred other little changes, including a better bolt pattern for the main assembly, better location details to make it snap fit into place, and a bunch of stuff like that. The front end also got some well-deserved TLC with smaller coilovers, angle adjustments, and again, a lot of little tweaks to make it print, install, and perform better. Most of the parts have been reinforced at places where they previously used to break. Components are starting to take place and it feels like a much more complete design compared to the first version of this buggy. Here you can see the new battery mount, gearbox, servo cover and suspension linkages. It is now using steel drive shafts instead of printed ones. This makes it much easier to assemble and cuts out a couple of manual fabrication steps. You can also see the centralized coilovers for the rear suspension and the almost completely covered gearbox now. That should keep most of the dirt and dust away from the gears. This new version now features an almost completely flat bottom, which should greatly improve its performance in rough terrain. There's simply not much left to get stuck on unless you're in way too deep or soft terrain. Here's a closer look of the front end, and you can see the changed bracing of the front suspension assembly and bumper. If you print the bumper with co-polyester or modified PLA, it helps out quite a bit, but if you print it in regular PLA, it tends to shatter too easy. Alright, time for our first test drive outside. I quickly realized the gear ratio was way off. Later when I did the math, it came to a top speed of around 20 km per hour, which is at way too low. You can hear here that it's quickly maxing out the RPM, without gaining much speed due to the high gear ratio. It's also quite nervous when driving and constantly wants to wander when hitting small bumps. I constantly have to try and correct the steering on this terrain. I later noticed that the steel drive shafts had severely chewed up the co-polyester drive joints, causing the wandering and other stability issues. You can see the rear bouncing up and down here due to it. I also noticed that despite the thicker frame, it still flexes quite a lot under stress. Still need to work on this. So that's all I have for this update. I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.